My name is John Selders. I am a bishop in, in the church. I'm a pastor and I'm a college administrator. I live in Hartford, Connecticut. Black history means to me, um, it, particularly here in the state of Connecticut, it means, you know, understanding that um, the unfolding of the activities of the folk who live, work, reside, born, get born and die here in Connecticut, uh, in particular those who are of African descent, is a part of our entire history. It is the, the point at which um, what we do, how we have lived, or as my, my people down south would say, how we be in Connecticut is how Connecticut is uh, and all of Connecticut is. So when, I, when, when you say black history in Connecticut, I think Connecticut history. Black history being celebrated in Connecticut actually has to reference Carter G. Woodson who began this idea that within the context of educating um, black boys and girls in school, we needed to talk about the history that, that often is left out, that's not understood, that's not known about people who look like me. And so Carter G. Woodson began with what then they called it Negro History Week. Uh, and then it ultimately became adopted as African American History Week and Black History Week and now Black History Month. The opportunity that that this, this state, this nation, uh, understands and begins to um, tell the stories, the narratives of people who look like uh, me in, in this country and in the state of Connecticut. Uh, because of the uprising in response to uh, George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and the others, which touched off uh, another round of movement work uh, related to the movement for Black Lives and Black Lives Matter. Coming into 2021, coming out of 2020, means that, that we, we've got a time now to pause and do a little reflecting about what it means and what history means and what Black history means in the context of this, this moment, this, this right now moment of both pandemic and transition and Black Lives Matter. As it relates to progress, I believe here in Connecticut, we did do something that was fairly groundbreaking. Uh, we um, passed by law a, a police accountability bill um, and that we lead the nation in that. Um, um, we certainly um, were, were, were smart and, and committed and some committed lawmakers said we got to do something. So um, that that was really good. That showed some progress. Now we got to uh, see how it plays out and how uh, local law enforcement uh, and other law enforcement agencies um, grapple with and deal with the changes uh, and how, how they live into this new reality. So I, I would have to say there is some progression there. What we experienced and what we what is the lived reality for some of us um, has far more to do with the underpinnings of white supremacy and racism and that still is pervasive. Uh, and so, so, so we got still a whole lot of work to do. For me, this year, unlike other years, has this wonderful uh, occasion and opportunity for us to dig a little deeper, to find ways of understanding black history in new and interesting ways. What, what I find um, most remarkable uh, around our Connecticut history is that th that history, that black history is all over the place. There, there, the, there are small towns and, and communities that have had presences of African-Americans who have done extraordinary things 